In this video, we'll learn how to assess the skin quality. We're going to learn how to check it and we'll see why it's important to us. It's another one of the vital signs. So when checking the patient's skin, we want to assess for colour, moisture and temperature. So looking at the colour of Brit's skin, we can see that it's pink and flushed. There's no moisture, she's not sweaty or clammy. And to temperature, it feels warm to touch. So we can see that Brit has normal, warm, dry and pink skin, which is awesome. Well done, Brit. So what's the alternative if our patient is unwell? Patient's skin could be mottled. That means that not enough blood is getting to the skin and it looks patchy, like this. If it looks pale or blue, that's a sign there is not enough oxygen getting to the skin. And sometimes, if someone is really unwell, their skin may be clammy or moist. That can be associated with the stress of being really unwell. So why is all this important? Well, if the skin is looking clammy, moist, it's a sign that there's not enough blood going to the skin. And that could be an indicator that the person is going into shock. If the skin isn't getting enough blood, that is an indication that other vital organs, like the brain, heart and the kidneys, are also getting lower oxygen levels. If that's the case, your patient is very unwell. They may also have a raised heart or respiratory rate alongside this. You'll learn more about shock later in the course, but for now, that's how to check skin quality. Thanks for watching.